Hey guys, it's Sarah here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be going through my mask collection and sharing which ones I think are totally worth the money and do the job and also the ones that I just don't think are actually working or worth the money. So if you're interested in that, keep watching. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe before you leave so you don't miss any of my future videos. All right, let's get into it. All right, I have all of my masks in this little container. So I'm just gonna go one by one and kind of talk about them and whether I think they're actually worth the money or not. So I'm just gonna go in no particular order and just pull them out. So first up, I have the Peter Thomas Roth Brightening Bubbling Mask. I actually, I feel like this one isn't even available anymore. I'm just gonna look online really quick. Okay, so it looks like it's not available at like the Sephora's and Ulta's of the world. They do still have it on like some resale sites and Amazon, I think, but I don't think that they actually make this anymore. So I guess this is kind of like a pointless thing. But the one that is very similar is the Clinique Pepstar Double Bubble Purifying Mask. Both of these are essentially the same. I'm just gonna show you because you can kind of tell. So that is the um, Peter Thomas Roth, and then the pink is the Clinique. So I'm just gonna rub them out. And then we're just gonna wait. You can see that they're starting to bubble up. As I continue to bubble, I'll just go on. Um, I think that they are both really good at getting kind of like the gunk out of your skin. They do tingle. When I first tried it, it was so hard for me to keep it on my skin the whole time because it tingles so much. And just like in certain areas, it was so sensitive. But then after I used it a few times, now I don't even notice it. I can definitely feel that it's tingling, obviously, but it doesn't feel like I need to take it off right away. So I will just say that if you're sensitive, you might not be able to bear the tingling feeling, but I do really like these. I think that they just make your skin feel really nice and clean. Okay, so you can see this way better now. It's completely bubbling up. And that's what it looks like on your skin as you're doing it. It just completely foams and you want to wait until it really bubbles over and then you just kind of wipe the bubbles away. So yeah, that's kind of the final thing. I think they're both interchangeable. I don't prefer one over the other. They do essentially the exact same thing for me. So since this one's not really available anymore, I would recommend the Clinique one. Next up is from Pure. It's called Dirty Girl Detoxifying Mud Mask with Pascalite Clay. And as you can see, this is almost gone. I have maybe one or two uses left out of it. I really, really enjoyed this. It's a dark clay mask and it dries and you can feel the clay just completely drying on your skin. It's this brown color. I'm just gonna take this smallest amount out. But it um, just completely dries on your skin and you can feel your entire face is super tight, just like most clay masks. Um, and this really feels like you are detoxifying your pores, which is the point of it. On the same lines of the Pure Dirty Girl is the Origins Clear Improvements Active Charcoal Mask. This is such a good one for acne prone or oily skin because it does have active charcoal in it, which is really good for clearing out your pores. This is another clay mask that will dry to your skin and kind of take everything and all of your impurities out. You rinse it off. And I love this. I think this is the third or fourth bottle that I have been through. So this has been a holy girl product for me since maybe like three years ago. So yeah, highly, highly recommend this. This might be my actually all time favorite mask. I feel like I shouldn't commit to that. I'm looking at everything. As far as acne masks and clearing up your skin masks, this is. Another mask that is really good for helping your skin is the Origins Out of Trouble 10 Minute Mask to rescue problem skin. This is almost gone as well. I really like this one. It has a tingling feeling when you put it on. It's just a white mask. And this one doesn't dry down quite as dry as the clay masks do, although it does dry down quite a bit. Um, but this is really good. It just makes your skin feel really nice. After some of the um, active charcoal ones, this is gonna make your skin feel like you really need to moisturize. This one kind of leaves your skin feeling like you wouldn't need to moisturize even though you probably still should. I highly recommend moisturizing after you do any kind of mask, but this one you don't feel like you have to as much as you do from one that is supposed to help with acne. I hope that makes sense. Next up is from Ole Hendrickson. This is the Higgy Hydra Clay Detox Mask. 
And this one, I just didn't feel like I really got a lot out of it. I've tried it probably about five times and it's supposed to help for acne prone skin. Um, I just didn't think that I really noticed anything. It's a, just like a white mask. Um, but yeah, I, I think that it's fine, but I wouldn't spend my money on it again. That's how I judge everything, is if I would spend my money on it again, then that means that I really like it and I feel like it was doing something. And this one, I just don't think that I will be repurchasing. That being said, there are so many Ole Hendrickson products that I absolutely love. Just because there's a product from a line that didn't necessarily work for me doesn't mean that I don't like the brand. So I just want to say that because there's a couple other um, masks in here that I didn't necessarily like. Moving on, this is from First Aid Beauty. It's the 5-in-1 Bouncy Mask. I love this. This is such a good mask if your skin is feeling dry. It says that it helps to nourish, calm, firm, plump, and refine. It just is the most calming mask. You put it on and then when you rinse it off, your skin feels so nourished, so supple. It's just absolutely amazing. So if you're feeling dry or just like you need some help with your skin, but it's not necessarily like acne help, it's like you were in the sun too much or something like that, this is amazing. This one is the Dr. Andrew Weil for Origins Mega Mushroom Skin Relief Face Mask. This one is supposed to be really good for calming your skin down and redness and everything like that. I do think that it works, but I like the 5-in-1 um, Bouncy Mask that I just mentioned. I like this one more than this one for that reason. This one doesn't smell the best, which the, most of the things in this line are not my favorite scent, but I still use them because the line is amazing. I've been using the serum from this line that just came out and I'm obsessed with it. I also use the treatment lotion every single night. So there are tons of products from this line that I really like, but this mask is just not my favorite one. Next I have the Kate Somerville Wrinkle Warrior Pink Plumping Mask. And this one, I, I enjoyed using it, but I didn't necessarily feel like I got anything out of it. It's a pink mask, so it's kind of fun to use. I've used it about six times, I would say, and I'm going to continue using it, but I didn't really notice anything. I think that you wouldn't be able to tell if a mask was keeping wrinkles away or not because you don't use a mask every single night. So I guess I don't know what I was expecting, and I don't put the mask like right up in my eyes because you don't want to get it in your eye and it's a mask, so I don't know, I don't know if I would ever see the benefits from this. I would rather use um, anti-aging like serums and eye creams that I'm gonna sleep with overnight and that I use every day because that's where I'm gonna be able to see the difference. So I don't know that I would ever be able to really see the difference on this product. So um, I'm gonna continue to use it, I enjoyed it, but I just don't know if it was actually doing anything for my skin. This is a bit of a different one. It's from Patchology. It's the Flash Patch Rejuvenating Eye Gels. These are not necessarily like a face mask, but they are an eye mask, kind of. They really calm your under eyes. I am obsessed with these. If you are lacking on sleep, you can just pop these underneath your eyes, leave them for five minutes before you do your makeup, and you'll look refreshed like you got eight hours of sleep. They are absolutely amazing, so I highly recommend these, even though they're not necessarily a face mask. I've tried quite a few things from the Yes To line. This is the Yes To Tomatoes Clear Skin Facial Mask, and I used almost this entire thing up, but it's almost gone, but it's dried up um, just because it is a clay mask. That's one thing that I don't like about this is that I've never had a clay mask in a jar like this. I don't feel like you can get it tight enough to really be airtight, so it did dry out. Uh, that being said, this is not my favorite for clearing anyway. I do like the Origins one for clearing more than I like this one, so that's that. But I would say that I don't like that this is in a jar when it's a clay mask because it will dry out. The ones that I have in jars are more jelly masks, this one and the bouncy mask. These ones aren't gonna dry out like a clay mask would. Another one from Origins I have is the Original Skin Retexturizing Mask with Rose Clay. This is my favorite line from Origins, the Original Skin. I think the entire line smells amazing, except this one doesn't. It smells kind of, but it doesn't have like a strong smell. The other stuff just has such a good scent to it, just like the Ginseng line. Um, but it's just a pink mask, and it actually looks kind of like Pepto-Bismol. But it has these like little granules, and 
So you let it sit on your face and you let it dry and then you massage it off and it kind of exfoliates as you are rubbing it off. It just leaves your skin feeling so smooth. Putting makeup on the next day, I always do masks that night. So putting my makeup on the next morning, I'm just like, oh yes. It's just such a good application every time I do this mask. So if you're dealing with texture, I would highly recommend this one. Next up is this one from Glam Glow. It is the Youth Mod Tingle Exfoliant Treatment. This is I think like the second or third little sample of this that I've gotten. It is another clay mask and it's just this like green color. The thing that I don't like about this is that it does have little uh, pieces inside of here. I think that they're seaweed or something, but it's hard because of the packaging that it comes in like this that you squeeze it out. They kind of get stuck in there and it's just a harder package to use. Um, but I did really like this. I think that I like the retexturizing one from Origins better than I like this one, especially for the price point. This is much cheaper than this one is, but I did enjoy this and I actually would probably buy the full size of this. I really like the, I think it's the Gravity, let me see which one it is. The Super Mud, it's in the white jar. That's my favorite one. I love that. I think it does wonders for your skin. So that's the Glam Glow mask that's my favorite so far out of the ones that I've tried. All right, last but not least is the Georgette Klinger Camphor Mask. And this, I, I feel a little bit confused as to what it is actually supposed to do. And I also don't feel like it did anything for me. So I wouldn't recommend this one. It says boost your skin's essential healing process while detoxifying clogged pores with our camphor based mask. And I just, I don't know. <laughs> I've probably used it like six or seven times and I'll probably use the rest of it up. I mean, I enjoyed using it, but it wasn't like a life changing mask for me. So there's so many other ones that I like more that I'd rather spend my money on. All right, so that is all of my masks that I have in jars or in tubes. I do have quite a few face masks in my collection. The problem with face masks is that I will use them and then throw the packaging away. So, and I haven't used any of the ones that I currently have in my collection. So if you guys want a part two of this and you want me to test all of my sheet masks out and then keep the packaging and talk to that, talk to you guys about them. I'd be more than happy to do that. Let me know down below in the comments if that is something that you're interested in and I'd be more than happy to do that. I just always throw the packaging away so it's so much harder to talk about. But yeah, that is everything for this video. I hope that you enjoyed. Let me know down below in the comments what your favorite mask is. I'm really curious. I love masks. I do them at least three times a week. I just, I just really enjoy it and I think that it's a huge part of my skincare routine. So yeah, let me know what your favorite mask is. If it's something I haven't tried, then I will definitely go out and try it. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave so you don't miss any of my future videos. And I will see you guys in my next one. Thanks so much for watching. Bye guys.